Okay, in this problem, uh, we're, we've got a, we've taken out a note, and we're uh, basically looking, you know, can we calculate um, interest? That's a common thing that we have to do in accounting, and, you know, usually it's a financial math issue, but um, there's a formula. I don't know, there's lots of formulas. The one that I always uh, use and remember is, um, call, uh, I remember it by the acronym uh, PERT. PERT. Principal times rate times time. And that is going to give me my um, interest expense. So in this case, the principal is 13000 The rate is 9%. And the time is 30 days. Now, um, here, if, if students ever make any mistake in this calculation, it's right, um, it's right here. The, the interest is, in any type of a problem, is always stated in terms of an annual interest rate. So, 9% is annual, right? It's the amount of interest for the year. And therefore, time also has to be in terms of an annual number. And by the way, if I calculate this, if you do, if you stop and say, okay, what is this number? Uh, 13,000, 9 percent times 30, uh, that's $35,100. That is a lot of interest on a $13,000 loan for 30 days. I mean, that's like Sopranos type of uh, interest. So that's not right. So what have I done wrong? Well, my interest rate is in, in terms of a year, but because I've written 30, the equation in essence thinks that's 30 years, not 30 days. So I need to convert this into um, a fraction of a year. It tells us in this example to use 360. Sometimes we would use 365. In real life we'd use 365. Uh, but we use 360 in this case for an easier calculation. Um, let me get rid of that. So we take the 30 360th. So now what I've done is I've turned that into a fraction of a year. Uh, 30 360th and that gives me $97.50. That's the amount of interest that uh, in 30 days we're going to have to um, uh, pay back. Of course, we have to pay the principal to 13000